this is our first class and now we're going to extend this class uh, with something and uh, to do that and we are not going to extend it with in the class itself we're going to um, make a new class that inherits from this class and we're going to make a two string uh, and all of that so let me do that Now we have created uh, two objects, one of the class foo and one of the class bar. And as you remember, bar inherits from foo, and uh, the only thing it really adds is uh, the two string um, uh, method. And we still got the get s and get in, get i. So let's uh, use this. Um, so let's do this. I am uh, going to print uh, these um, things. So let's see how we do that.
Okay, so here we have a few problems. Uh, the first is um, to act access to s one of the uh, members of Foo from uh, the class uh, bar. So it says access denied, and we want to protect uh, our uh, our uh, variables or members of a class. So we have to we cannot use uh, public and we cannot use uh, private so we have to use protected so let's change that shall we and we go up and up and let's see here so uh, here we go so it should be protected Uh, I made a little error, so it was my brain who was thinking too fast. So we do not need this last two string here. So let's make again. Uh, right and make. Uh, let's see. Let's see. My. Um, we have a warning. Uh, bar that two string have used, and we have my day, which is totally wrong. It should be my bar. So let's do that. Uh, let's see here. My bar. Actually succeeded. Oh, okay, it was. Uh, I didn't read. Okay, so we have zero errors. We have two warnings. One is that the private, uh, the member of uh, bar two string uh, is never used, and uh, the second is that we never use my bar. So let's uh, see what happens when we run this. Oops. M a k k e r r u and hello Vala 12 okay so let's open up here and let's do a new printout but this time from the other the my bar and this time it's going to be much easier And as we can see, it worked perfectly. Well, sort of perfectly. Uh, I forgot to add uh, line breaks uh, to both of them, so uh, I think I have to do that. So I will add a uh, line break to each of these printouts, so let me do that. And as you can see, the line breaks are added, and uh, it works perfectly. Um, let's uh, let's now have a look at uh, the how this uh, works. As you can see here, we have uh, two variables or two uh, objects of the uh, class foo, 
and we give uh, it two parameters in this case it's uh, the first here is my foo uh, take uh, has uh, the information of uh, hello vala and the integer 12 so let's see what that looks like in the constructor here so here's the parameters and here we have assignment uh, and then we got the get s and get uh, i and then we got the the sub class in this case it's bar bar um, inherits uh, that's the inheritance symbol from foo and then we have the then we have the uh, in this as you can see we don't actually do this dot s equals blah 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 in the second case here instead we just run the base uh, or the mother classes uh, constructor as you can see here uh, and uh, and we added the two string um, member function uh, no <laughs> method it's called methods in uh, in Vala but I call them functions anyway um, and uh, it run it runs the mother constructor as we can see here uh, and um, as you can see uh, we have these we print out a string and a digit and we give and a new line and it takes uh, the first string and the integer from the my foo uh, just for fun I will show you something that uh, so you cannot so you know that this is not fake or that it really works as it should I am going to try to make to do a two string on my foo this will fail and it should fail let's let me do that And as you can see, it fails, and uh, just like we expected, uh, it says here that uh, the uh, the name two string does not exist in the context of foo, and that is just what we expected. So that's it for this lecture, and have a good day.